What is up, assholes? Welcome back to another match in opening night trivia. With me, continuing this singles tournament, I have Christina. Hi, everyone. I'm glad to be back. Had to take last week off. Had some stuff going on in the real world, but I'm happy to be back here for this match. Um, I'm very excited. These are two of my favorite players to watch play, so I'm really excited to be here hosting a match for them. Yeah. It's funny. Actually, both of these people I've had rivalries, rivalries with. Back when I first got into trivia, uh, I wanted to taste Boatman's coattails. He put me in the dark pretty quickly. And then Bill, who hates me for writing questions. Today, today will be very, very fun. I semi-hate Bill for writing questions, but that's only because I got zero points in that Full Metal Classic, so I can't hate it. <laughs> wait, 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 Full Metal Classic is hard and you miss questions? No, never. I miss all of that, but that's okay. Uh, I never yeah. played pretty good. I'm here for a good time, yeah. not a long time. And, and let's just forget about Bill for a second, and let's talk to uh, one of the competitors we have here today and his manager. I wonder who his manager is. Caleb Boatman and the guy everyone hates. How are you two doing? Uh, I mean, you woke us up for a layup, but sure. I mean, all right, like we'll take it. Uh, if we have to play this entire tournament as a formality, we'll do it. But Boatman's obviously the champion of this league, and like it's a done deal, written in stone fact. Uh, I don't care who we play. I don't care if it's Jake. I wish I were Boatman Meltzer. Peggy, I get easy five-pointers gubbins. Uh, if it's Bill, I couldn't come up with a nickname, so I put my name into an already existing city. Uh, I don't even know your last name. I don't care. Uh, look, it's Boatman's to lose, and uh, everyone can try, uh, but you're going to lose. You're in a Facebook chat with him right now, Co. You should know what his last name is. <laughs> sorry, I don't pay attention. I'm sorry. I'm not even sorry. So the nice one, what do you think? So that was a Dennis Leary-esque rant. I'm going to give you more of a Bobcat Goldwaite style ramble. Um, Bill Cariola is a boomer, but that's okay because I respect boomers. Do you? I worked you with a one. boomer uh, even all the way to his uh, time in the geriatric facility. His name was Brian Michaels. Um, he's very good at trivia. Uh, he's, hanging out, he's hanging out with Gladys and playing Wii Bowling. Yeah, along with Kirk Kalikowski, who's just yelling at the corner for the nurse for liking fun. Um, but seriously, I think this is going to be a fun match. I've never, I don't think I've ever played Bill before. Maybe I have, uh, but I don't think so. So this is going to be fun. And this is a new environment with different questions. Who knows what could happen? Thank we you, Bobcat. We don't miss. Okay, thank you for your uh, for your catchphrase there. Those were some. Promos. Yeah, right? Wow. I feel like every time Coho comes on the screen, I'm like stunned and shocked. <laughs> yeah, you just just take a just take a step back and just watch him just speak hate into the universe. Right. Uh, and then we get to talk to the person who hopefully will be nicer to us today. I don't know, he hates me. Uh Bill. Hi, Bill, no last name. How are you doing today? Uh yeah. So thanks for putting me outside my weight class in this one. I would also like to thank Boatman for uh, not remembering the time we were in Full Metal Classic for a Trivia for a Thon, where I managed to scrape a point because I got a horseshit category about body switching that didn't have any body swapping in it because fucking Nine Lives is not a body swap movie. That is just I become a fucking cat. So, so you just hate cats. <sighs> All right. Enough about Kmart Slim Shady over there with his, uh, <laughs> with his little kid. All right. First off, I'll have you know I am a Gen Xer. Seriously? Okay? I am not a boomer. So go tell your dad to go back to the big boy store, get a goddamn shirt with sleeves like a respectable human being. All right? So in all fairness, though, here's the thing. All right? Uh, if Bowman wins, no one cares because that's what expected, you know? Uh, if I win, we get the any given Sunday mentality, and that's what I am rooting for right now. So maybe, uh, maybe I could pull off an upset. I would sure like to, because it would just mean so much more to me. Like I can taste it, and that is what I—that's what I want to pull off here today. So, just so we know, I have been mentally preparing for this. I've locked myself in a closet for the last three days. I've watched this horseshit movie that I'm never going to forgive his ass for. I knew I should have gave him Sallow. I made—I should have made him watch that, but then we'd all would have to watch Sallow, and none of us would have forgiven us. <laughs> It's fine, but next time it will totally be pandemic. So, all right, thank you, Bill. Uh, 
Okay, boomer. Or sorry, okay, Xer. Uh, that Bill, Bill is hungry, hungry with some very good burns. <laughs> I I like it. I think I I appreciate the any given Sunday mentality. So anything can happen. Let's go for it. Yeah, let, let, let us just do this thing. All right. Introducing first. With a record of zero wins, zero losses, it is one, Mr. Caleb Bowman. Hi. Thank you for being relaxed and calm. And his opponent. Well, with a record of zero wins and zero losses, it is one, Mr. Bill Carriol. Evening. Here are your rules for round number one. You'll get 10 questions in a variety of movie trivia categories to the whiteboard round, because I will give you a question. You'll have 20 seconds to write down your question or your answer, and 20 seconds, pens down, and you will both verbalize and show your answer that you have written down. A reminder, you have three repeats and a challenge. If you get all 10 questions correct in this round, you do get a bonus question. All questions are worth one point. Christina, are you ready? Oh, I'm ready. Awesome. Here is your first question, the category of animation. What Tim Burton animated movie features the voice talents of Johnny Depp and Helena Bonham Carter? This is low-key one of my favorites. Really? Yeah, I know. Like, you wouldn't think that this is one of my favorites, but it really is. I mean, not entirely. Like, I like the movie a lot, too. Just It's a surprising thing to call a favorite in my eyes. It's just, I don't know. It's, it's so good. It's so well done. Four, three, two, one. Bill? Corpse Bride. Boatman? The Corpse Bride. I don't think I can give either of you the point there. It is just Corpse Bride, no the. I think it's The Corpse Bride, no? Is I'm 99% sure there's a the in the title. I mean, it doesn't matter since we both get the point, but... Coho, should I challenge this? Hold on, I'll I'm, just, I'm just looking it up right now. Uh, yeah, it's just called Corpse Bride. Either way, uh, Christina, yeah. uh, go ahead and move on to question number two. All right. Your category is the 1990s, um, a year or the decade only Bill and I were alive for. In Ghost, Sam goes to see Otome Brown, a psychic played by whom? I'm pretty sure everyone here was born in the 90s, or at least was alive in the 90s, Christina. Oh, I thought you guys were all 2000. I was no. alive for three months of the 90s. You can all kiss the fattest part of my ass. <laughs> I'm not into that, Bill. Thank you very much. Five, four, three, two, one. Boltman? Whoopi Goldberg. Bill? Oscar nominated Whoopi Goldberg. Thank you for that. The next question comes in the category of comedies. In Clue, Yvette the maid was found dead on the pool table, killed by what weapon? Yeah, I just saw this. I love this movie. Incredible. I just saw this for the first time a few days ago, and it is very good. It's so great. It's so great. Five, four, three, two, one. Bill? Rope. And Boatman. I messed up. Oh, it is, in fact, uh, a great Alfred Hitchcock movie, Rope. <laughs> Your next category comes in fantasy sci-fi. In The Princess Bride, how does Buttercup realize the Dread Pirate Roberts is actually Wesley? I, like, hate this movie. But... I'm going to give it another chance because my reason for hating it is based on a reason from my childhood. So I feel like as a grown up, I should give this a fair shake. And this is like, well, this is why I like being host, being host of the stream. Koho had the most disgusted look on his face when uh, you said that. Koho, I'll tell you afterwards. It's a Four, great. Three, two, one. Boatman? Wesley says, as you wish, as he's rolling down a hill. Bill? Sorry. Specific. He says, as you wish. Both correct. Next question in the category of classics. The Terra Plantation is the home featured in what film? Oh, classics. I don't really do old movies. That's for like smart people who care about things. And This movie is for boomers. Because, <laughs> you know, classics. <laughs> and, and time travelers. Five, 
Yeah, four. Caleb Boatman, Thank three. For the representation. Two. Anytime. One. Uh, Bill? No idea. I'm going to guess Gone with the Wind. Boatman? Gone with the Wind. That is correct. <laughs> oh, my God. I've literally never seen that movie. I have no idea. I bullshitted that on my bottle. So. <laughs> okay. The category of directors. Who directed Ride Along, Taxi, and Barbershop? Bill pulling the old classic, I pulled it out of my booty hole maneuver, which is a fun piece of history that helped me. I haven't heard that since Brian Fernandez. Thank you for the reference, Boatman. I do appreciate booty hole. That's always a fun thing to say. Not as funny as bunghole, though. Five, four, three, two, one. Boatman? Tim Story. And Bill. I had no idea, so I wrote you bowl because they're all garbage movies anyway. So <laughs> Boatman is correct there with Vintessman with the Fantastic Four director Tim Story. Next question comes in the category of movie release dates. Sophie's Choice was released in what year? If you had to choose to see this movie, Christina, would you? Is it a scary movie? No, it's a drama about World War II. Oh, then yeah. Yeah, actually, it's pretty good. I just don't do horror. So if a movie is scary, I don't want to see it. Because I'm a wuss. Wait for the questions later. I just talked to the game. Four, three, two, one. Bill? 1982. Boatman? 1982. Both are correct. Oh, I wrote three and erased it, so I'm not even kidding. All righty. In the category of quotes... In what movie would you hear the quote, that rug really tied the room together? I was forced to watch this movie as one of my quarantine movies during this. We watched a lot though. I think we watched almost a hundred movies while we were trapped inside. I watched it with a girl. Neither of us liked it. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you, not, I wasn't a huge fan. Four. Yeah, three. I saw it in the theater. Two. One, <laughs> Boatman. The Big Lebowski. <laughs> oh, or Bill. Yes, The Big Lebowski. The is correct. Our next question is in the category of Oscars. Sounds of the Lambs, One Flew the Cuckoo's Nest, and what other movie won the Big Five at the Oscars? Clarification, Big Five, meaning best picture, director, actor, actress, and screenplay in its respective category. That's just wild to me. Like that that's, I mean, that, it just has to be such a good movie to pull that off. Oh yeah. And two of the movies that won were great movies. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, Repeat the question. one. Good timing. Sounds of the Lambs, One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, and what other movie won the big five at the Oscars? In a shocking turn of events, I haven't seen any of these movies. <laughs> really? I believe I seen it earlier that I only like to watch trash movies. Did I say that? Uh, I only I like you're correct in that. <laughs> five. So getting five Oscars. Four, three, two, one. Bill? Uh, nothing. Couldn't pull Boatman? it. Frank Capra's It Happened One Night. That is correct. Oh, Frank Capra. He directed It's a Wonderful Life, right? Is that correct? All right, yeah. point for Christina. Point. Right. Your last question comes in the category of action adventure. In Bad Boys, Mike Lowry and Marcus Burnett are detectives from what police department? Like what city? Uh, yes. Um, I had to watch this trilogy during uh, quarantine. Had to, like it's punishment. I, like the '90s actions are a lot for me. The third one I thoroughly enjoyed because it's like a little bit more modern action. Four. Yeah, three, two, one. Bowman. Will Smith sang a song about it, Miami. Bill. Miami. I didn't know the Miami songs, but that is correct. Boatman with a lead of eight to seven, if I'm correct. Heading into uh, round number two. Ooh. Round number two is the deep cut round. Before this match, each uh, player picked a movie for their opponent to study. They will get five questions in each movie. Uh, each question is worth two points. If they miss it, their opponent can steal for one. Uh, Boatman, you are in the lead. I'll bring in your manager very briefly. Uh, 
if uh, would you like to take the first, or would you like to get your questions first or second? Let's let him go see what we have to do with it. Yeah. All right. Bill, you will be getting your questions first, and Max Keeble's big move. Christina, would you like to administer those questions? Absolutely. I had the pleasure of watching this gem, so I'm happy to read read the questions. <sighs> I'm sorry for both of us. So It wasn't that bad. All right. Your first question. What is the name of the paper that Max delivers for? The Times Journal. That is correct for two points. Question number two. What song begins to play whenever Max's crush Jenna enters the room? Baby, one more time. Banana. I was actually low-key disappointed they never finished it because this is a bop. It got real annoying after the eighth time that happened. This is a bop. I think I think that's what the kids say. I'm a little too old for that. All right, question number three. The evil ice cream man gets a ticket for reckless driving and disturbing the peace. How much money was the fine? $280. Correct, for two more points. Question number four. How much money does Dobbs charge to go number one in the bathroom? Shit. None. I, yeah. Three dollars. Can you repeat your answer? Three dollars. Three dollars is correct. Okay. And he charges five dollars for number two. The principal lists four extracurriculars he plans to cut when yelling at Max. Name two of them. P.E. and fun. <laughs> that is correct for two more points. Clean sweep of his questions. Whew. Watching that terrible movie paid off. As Boatman, you get your questions in A Nightmare on Elm Street. One of you is significantly nicer. Boatman, here are your questions. What is the excuse that Tina uses early on in the film to explain why she and Nancy both had nightmares? And I don't have multiple choice here, right? You don't have multiple choice. Five, four, three, Something two. Something they ate. Hmm? Something they ate. Incorrect. Bill for the one point steal. Can I hear the question again? Yes. What is, the, what is the excuse that Tina uses early on in the film to explain why she and Nancy both had nightmares? Shit, I did not remember. This is going to be crass, but I'm going to say time of the month. Incorrect. Yikes. Uh, they said that a big earthquake was coming. Big earthquake. Was nightmares. <laughs> Next question, Boatman. What play is being read in Nancy's class? Hamlet? Incorrect. Bill for the one point steal? I believe that is Julius Caesar. Correct for a one point steal. What type of animal does Freddy use to scare Tina in the first nightmare sequence at the beginning of the film? A sheep. That's correct for two points. What is the full name of the institute that Nancy's mom takes Nancy to? Hatcha Institute for Sleep Study. That is incorrect. Bill for the one point steal. It's actually the Katja Institute for the Study of Sleep Disorders. That is correct for a one point steal. And give me, actually, give me one second. Okay. Your last question, Boatman. What is the name of the radio station Glenn is listening to before he dies? Oh, 
five. Am I? Four. Did I cut out KDMI? Oh, what was the what? Would you say? KDMI. I have no idea. That is incorrect. Bill for the one point steal. KRGR. That is correct for one point. Uh, Christina, if I am correct, it is now ten to twenty going into round number three. That is correct. All right. Gentlemen, here is how round three works. You will get three questions. Uh, for two points, you'll be given the year of a film, the lead actor of it, and the genre. For three points, you will get the year of the film, the director of the film, and its plot keywords. For five points, you will get the year of the film, and you'll be asked to pick two between director, actor, supporting actor, genre, and plot keywords. Bill, since you are in the lead, would you like set one or set two? I'll go two. All right. Boatman, your questions in set number one. Christina, could you ask him his questions? Okay, Boatman, for your two points, your year is 1986, your lead is Tom Cruise, and the genre is action, drama, romance. Top Gun. Top Gun is correct for two points. For your three point question, the year is 2019. Yeah. The director is Lorraine Scafaria, and the plot keywords are female nudity, strip club, and materialism. I think a repeat. Okay. The year is 2019. The director is Lorraine Scafaria, and the plot keywords are female nudity, Strip club and materialism. Hustlers. That is correct for three. Okay, so again, just to remind you for your five point question, I will give you the year and then you pick two clues that you would like from the director, the lead, supporting the genre or the plot keywords. Okay, so your year is 2015. I'll take. So, would you like to manager in for this decision? Sorry. Yeah. All right. All right. What do you think? It's 2015, so it's going to come down to. I mean, you can take Someone's either actor or director, but it comes down to which would be more identifiable. I think you take plot keywords. That'll help yeah. narrow down a movie in terms of what it's about. You I mean, want to do director gonna... keywords or actor keywords? What do you feel better about like being able to identify a 2015 movie by the actor who's in it or the director? Because it's a five pointer. It could be a director you've never heard of. It could be an actor you've never heard of either. Let's go with actor keywords. Okay. All right. Sorry, my cat opened the door and I. You're good. It. Okay, so actor and keywords. Mm -hmm. Okay. So again, your year was 2015. Your lead actor is Sally Field, and your plot keywords are co worker, hoarding, and older woman, younger man. My name is Doris. And your winner, by way of technical knockout, it is Bill Cariola. The film is oh, Hello, shit. My Name is Doris. Oh! We'll take oh. Boatman out of the room for this. Bill, are you okay? Did that actually just happen? It did happen. This is not a nightmare. Oh, my God! <laughs> <laughs> oh. How are you feeling, Bill? I have no words. Uh, holy, holy, oh, wow. I'm sorry. Give me a sec. I got to, I got to, um, uh, first things first, uh, rest in peace, everyone's brackets. Uh, <laughs> sorry about that. Um, I mean, holy shit. You know, like, here it is. Any given Sunday, here we are. And I pulled off, like, the craziest upset. Uh, I have uh, been preparing for this like it has been a marathon like I, I know what boatman can do this was not easy by any sense um keeping it close in round one saved me and absolutely somehow acing that, that movie um you know what i'm gonna buy max Keeble's big move now because uh that means the world will be holy shit um i cannot i just i can't fun i can't make cogent thought right now so um holy shit i will say uh, I probably should have asked. I probably should have said that beforehand. Unless I'm mistaken, you play after this. You are playing uh, someone's husband. You're playing Anthony Tisdall, who is currently not in the room. He's but room. but do you I have any words? Bad for us, Spence, because the movies these two are going to pick. 
are going to be so awful that you and I are going to have to watch them. <laughs> I can't wait to watch both of them and hate myself afterwards. Bill, do you have any words for Anthony? I really hope you like Andy Sedaris films. I don't even know what that and is. And you will Google that later. <laughs> have fun. Sure. All right. Thank you, Bill. All right, Christina, who is Andy Sedaris? I don't know. This is why I was hoping Boba would win so I could watch a good movie. <laughs> I will say, Nightmare, for, Nightmare on Elm Street was a very good movie. But unfortunately, you didn't get to watch that. You got to watch Max Keeble's big move. Yes. Speaking of Max Keeble, uh, the unfortunate second place finisher of today, Caleb Boatman and his manager, Caleb Coho. Not to be whatever, I just noticed that two rounds now, both mine and Boatman's, when it comes to Deep Cuts, the movie that was written for us, significantly harder. Uh, based on no, Paul, we I will say that. No. That's a fact. No, no, no. That's a fact. Not being, uh, no. I'm not being. Not, it. I'm telling. I'm saying. I'm whatever. I'm just saying. I don't want to do it for good this job. Man. Good I'm job, Bill. Here. I don't. Just good job, Bill. You played good. I'm not going to take that away from you. Uh, we'll call this a charity week for you. You got a free one. Uh, but you know what? We'll take it. We'll move on. Whatever. At the end of the day, I messed up. There are things that I could say, but I'm not going. To. At the end of the day, I didn't know my nightmare questions. Bill killed it in Max Keeble. At the end of the day, that's what matters. That's what counts. He knew stuff I didn't. At the end, like at the end of the day, I'm not going to take anything away from him. This is how I expected this match to go. No, hundred uh, percent. Are there things that I wish I would have done differently, or do I wish this match was at a different time? Sure, but again, I don't want to take anything away from Bill because ultimately he destroyed everybody's brackets. Good on him. I hope he can make it to the finals and then Coho or Holzman can beat him. If I, say, if I said I'm proud of my performance, I would say no, but oh, it I is will, what I, it is. I will say this. Bill, I hope you make it to the finals because either Holzman or I will get a free win over you, buddy. I would have beaten you eight different ways today. Uh, you caught Boatman on his worst day. You won't get that in the finals. So make it to the finals. Do your business. I would rather play you than Meltzer. You seem nice, uh, but Meltzer's not. So I'd rather play you. Holtz would rather play you too. But we'll see you there. All right. Coho likes free things, apparently. And yeah, I will say on both both competitors played great today. Just again, deep cuts are hard to prep for. Some questions are just gonna be harder, and it's really hard to prep to prep for that. Just so happened that things didn't go Boatman's way today. But uh, like 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 Bill said, and like Coho said, any given Sunday, yep. you never know what it's like when someone's gonna show up to the match today until they play. Boatman may not have played to his best today, but he has a best, and he can win with his best against oh, yeah. most people in this division. He's gonna come back. He is yep. maybe. We have two terrifying Owen ones now waiting for revenge on this league. So yes. you never know what's going to happen next. <laughs> and I'm so happy that I will never have to play them, hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> Unless so, you can put a real free win, then you can play me. Yeah. For, so for Coho, for Boatman, for Bill, for Christina, for me, Adelaide, hello. Thank you so much for watching opening night trivia. Stay inside, stay safe, wash your hands, wash your face. Enjoy life, please. It's hard to stay inside, but you got it. You can, you can, you can finish this. You can, you can get through this. We got this. Yeah.